There's so been good. spies have flown to Mauritius. They've been to Spain. They've been to Cafe. Mauritius. They've been to Mauritius. Not these ones. Not these specific <laughs> ones. But Hello. <laughs> Welcome. How's it going? Very well. How are I'm you? So excited. Yeah, very well. Welcome excited to the test to be kitchen. Here. <laughs> Today we have Julius Roberts in the test kitchen. Welcome. Very happy to be here. Cook, gardener, farmer, farmer. author. Shall we um, start off with a festive drink? I would love a drink. Okay, we have a pomegranate and clementine mimosa. Merry Christmas. Mmm. <laughs> What are we making? We're a very big Christmas family. Always have a lot of cousins, aunts, uncles for Christmas. And you know how the reason you have a turkey is because you can feed a lot of people very mm. easily. We'll also have a ham mm -hmm. every single Christmas. And my granny was Dutch and she was like the king, the queen of Christmas even. Always in charge of the cooking. And in the morning you come down and you have ham and eggs on toast with tons of Dijon mustard and butter. Strong start. And it's a Dutch breakfast called Outsmater. Okay, I've got your, your pan hot, but anything else you want me to do, let I me think know. I like, I get the bread toasting pretty quickly because okay. rye always takes a bit of time. And I love how much butter you can get into a oh, piece cleansing. of rye toast. How's that looking for you? Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to get a fudgy one, the real deal. I'll pop them in the toaster. And this has got like a lovely marmalade glaze, mm -hmm. it looks like, which is great fun. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks good. So is this um, something you eat on Christmas Day or yeah. all through Christmas? We'll, we'll have that ham just out all the way through Christmas with a little bit of tin foil, mm. you know, on the edge. Right, should we get some oil in the pan and fry it for some eggs? Talk me through what you bought in from your garden. So I forgot to bring eggs, but I did bring you some lovely greens. Mm -hmm. I've got some Swiss chard kale and cavallonero, which we have in abundance mm -hmm. at this time of year. So whilst you're cooking your breakfast, mm -hmm. I thought I would do something with the greens that you've brought in. I thought I'd do like a sort of <laughs> Christmas <laughs> veggie alternative with your greens and saute them like sort of stewed collard green kind of vibe with a sort of Caribbean, what they might do with Callaloo. Wow. You do that with all your greens. Put that on some toast, boiled egg. That sounds, sounds lovely. Sounds nice. And those little... Scotch bonnets. Yeah, it's fire. gonna have a little pepper or stuff, and then I'll pop some um, cumin seeds actually. Toast those. I quite like, you know, when you just grab a bit of that oil mm. and cook the top of those eggs a bit. Right, your eggs look ready. Eggs are looking absolutely stunning. I'll get the toast. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you've done them with, like sort of Spanish eggs. Crispy, like, crispy skirt. Yeah, definitely. Love it. This is hearty stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's Christmas, right? Mm. It's gonna stay warm. So loads of mustard, and then this beautiful marmalade ham. That piece looks so good. Look at that. Oh yeah. And then the cheese is kind of optional, but it's quite a nice bit of tang. Just a couple of pieces. And Egg on top. Yeah, chuck them on. Oh yeah, that's just gonna like sit there melting that Doesn't cheese. Doesn't it look good? Oh yeah, it looks great. <laughs> I was kind of embarrassed about how simple it was, but it's just such, it's actually such a classic. You don't want anything sort of more hard work than that on Christmas morning though, do you? No, exactly. Okay. <laughs> mm. Can't complain, right? Mm. Oh, it's perfection. Oh, it's really good. I might have to adopt this for my family this Christmas. Okay, delicious. More of that later. Yeah. What did you bring? So these are, another thing I'll always make at Christmas is Armagnac prunes, mm. where you just leave prunes to soak in a bit of brandy, Earl Grey tea with kind of orange cloves, Christmas spices. Something I might give as Christmas presents, mm -hmm. but we also will have it as pudding on Christmas Eve. Chaya has been eyeing up these prunes and she wants to contribute to our breakfast. Oh yeah? Yeah. What are you going to make, Chaya? I think I'm going to make some French toast with it. Ooh. Delicious. Good. French yeah. toast and Armagnac prunes. Yeah, yum. Ooh. Thank you. Nice. Would this be a good time to say, recipe in the book? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is my book, The Farm Table, and the prunes are in there with this um, really dark chocolate mousse and creme fraiche and lots of that brandy liquor. 
favourite recipes in the book? Uh, I mean, there's so many. I've got this really lovely tarragon roast chicken mm. that everyone loves, like ultra simple. That's been doing simple. the rounds on social yeah. media. I've seen that a lot. Mustard, tarragon, cream, like lovely slow roast chicken. <laughs> tell, tell me what you're going to make. Right, so I've toasted these cumin seeds. Do you want these kind of still with a bit of texture? Yeah. Let's do one shallot and some garlic. Sort of six minutes or something until that kind of goes nice and sweet. Yeah. And then we're going to just pierce the scotch bonnet because otherwise, wow. Okay. So that's the trick, is it? You pierce it, which lets the flavour out, but you don't expose the seeds so it's not too... Exactly. And then we'll have like a really nice mellow fruity heat. I really like that. I've never, never heard of that. Yeah. Later on, if we're feeling brave, Take a bit off. We can slice it up a bit. And it adds a nice colour to the dish as well. So I'm going to add some of the cumin now to get that on our base. And then we'll finish it off. Nice. On the eggs. If I also ask you just to sort of tear some greens. So how was it? How did you find writing the book? Because I'm guessing you couldn't take time off farming. No, yeah. I, well, it's quite nice because it's a seasonal book. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I took a whole year to slowly write and live on the farm at the same time. So all the recipes are kind of very in the moment. Mm -hmm. It's what you want to be eating at that time of year. Did you know anyone in farming? Do you have a mentor? Knew no one, no mentor. I've, you know, learnt along the way through a series of endless mistakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. It's so good to meet you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. This is exciting. So you guys have been, so you're doing the rye with a ham? Yeah. That style? We'll and make it again when we sit down. Yeah, yeah? I'm not going to interrogate you too much. <laughs> <laughs> we eat it, we eat it. I'm making a take on something that my friend showed me from Trinidad. You've got scotch bonnet there and you've got some spices. We've got some uh, toasted cumin, some uh, schlotz garlic, and then we're going to sort of like slowly braise these down. I'm going to go away <laughs> and I'm going to sit down and I'm just going to wait for the food to arrive, <laughs> as I do. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so I'm actually going to put a little bit of coconut milk in there. I'm going to add a little bit of water as well. I love Swiss chard stalk stems, don't you? Yeah, they're gorgeous. Beautiful. Right, okay, I'm going to put this some... This smells so good. It smells good, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put the eggs on. Um... Okay, we're getting there, right? So I think my eggs are done. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to just slice some bread and we'll put some toast down? Of course. This is nearly there, so I'm going to... Add some spinach. Let's we do a lot of Christmas games, so I can't wait Ooh, for that. Oh, so do we. What are your Christmas games? The best game, which not many people know, is we play the potato race game, which yep. is where you take a baked potato and you tie it round your waist with a string so it's hanging like a pendulum. And you have 1v1 and you have to race your potatoes on the floor by hitting them with the potato you're holding and you know with your no, like, wait, granny wait. you're getting like tangled up with your granny who's like gyrating away this it shoots under the sofa and you've got to get it out so you can see it's not like as you kind of really cut down the coconut it's not so that it's saucy quite, it's quite sticky exactly and lovely yeah. should we try some i'd love to get quite close oh to the yeah okay mm. so isn't that amazing just from piercing it yeah i love that trick okay i'm gonna plate mine up toast yeah. is ready can I just get the butter? Of course. Okay. What is toast without butter? Yeah, even if you're putting creamy greens. Okay. But like we were saying, we have the sort of mineral rich sort of greens, and then we have the creamy coconut, the fruity heat of the scotch bonnet, and then like the earthy cumin, a couple of jammy eggs. Just to sit underneath, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, look at those. Look at those. Maybe salt and pep. A little salt and pep. And maybe a little olive oil. Do you want to drizzle a little olive oil over the top? Yep. And then, where did that cumin go? Um, there it is. It's around. <laughs> Let's finish it off with a little sprinkle of the cumin. Oh, what a decadent breakfast. Yeah, that looks excellent. Yeah? I'd happily have that for dinner as well. Oh, any time of the day. So I had it at the beginning when the recipe was not quite right. Ooh. Hello. Oh. Hello. So what did you put on top? So there's Julius's almanac prunes from his book. 
and there's a drop of creme fraiche and this the drizzly thing is a Hawaii butter sauce. What are we having Millie? We have some sort of Caribbean greens. It's a little spicy. Ham and eggs. A lot of eggs. <laughs> a lot of eggs. <laughs> eggs for breakfast. What would like your Boxing Day, Christmas, Christmas Eve, what those three days looking like for you? Um, we always have a lot of family with us at Christmas. So like uncles, aunts, cousins, um, play a lot of games. Mm -hmm. We do like Christmas Olympics, because we're in the countryside, you know, we're outside a lot. My favorite thing on Christmas day, walking outside with my bucket of feed and feeding my sheep, you know, especially if it's a beautiful day like it is today. It makes me feel so at home and cozy, this like grounding act of feeding them in the morning. So well, let's always cheers to that. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mm. Oh. Really, th these greens are so delicious. I can see eating this all over Christmas. Yeah. Because it's just so. I said to you, Liz, I make like a big batch and then it's like you have it with chickpeas, you have it with toast, you have it, you know, oh, nice. loosen it down into the soup. So good. So it's not like a Christmassy thing necessarily. Oh, I just eat it. All the time. Yeah, whenever the greens are there. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I love it. I'm almost a bit embarrassed to be cooking ham and eggs for you, Jochen. No, I love these kind of things that mm. are simple and cozy. When we tried that first mouthful over there, like it was. You know, just a, it gave me this sensory back in time mm. feeling because we've had that every Christmas my entire life. Oh, that's so lovely. Yeah, quite sweet. Do you think it's time for Chaya's French toast? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, think it's French toast. Okay. How yes. do you make the butter sauce? So you make a oh. simple syrup with the spices, with yeah. the whole, mm -hmm. sweet whole age spice. And once, um, once your syrup is cooked out, um, you take it off the heat and drop cold butter in and keep stirring. Uh. And then, did you, with the French toast, did you start it in the pan and then finish it in the oven? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the best way because then it fluffs up really nicely. Yes. It's really nice in the Whoa, mm. that's does, awesome. Does that do your French yeah, justice? That's, that's so good. Mm. good. How many mince pies is it okay to eat a day? I thought you were going to say for oh me to God. take home. Because that is something I've been struggling okay, with at the moment. So we, uh, we, we can do, we can just test it now. You can have those mince have pies. Have you had an No, I don't oh. think I've ever had an Ossolenghi mince pie. Uh, do you want to try one? I'd love to try one. Go ahead. Would you like one as well? Uh, okay. You probably eat a lot of these. You know what I love? It's like they're very full. This no, is like sure. a grown-up mince pie. This yeah. is a very grown-up mm. mince pie. They're so Proper. boozy. They're yeah. really boozy. They're not for kids. Mm -mm. They're for greedy adults. Delicious. Wow. This has been fun. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. Uh, should we do another Happy Christmas? Yeah. No. Christmas. Thank Happy you Christmas, for coming. Yotem. It's absolutely all honor. this way. <laughs> Thank you. All this way. way. All this way. <laughs> it's such a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. The recipe is down below. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.